How you doing, everybody? It's Rob Oakman, and like everybody else, I'm a sucker for dinosaurs. Like I said, I particularly like uh, when you can see the, the real specimen, especially if it's the way it was, and it's unmodified. They haven't added any parts to it. And uh, this one I'm going to show you is a Parsosaurus wirini, and not, it's a little, kind of small, smallish uh, herbivore, about the same size as a, let's see, a very large velociraptor kind of thing. Uh, but again, this thing would have been uh, an herbivore, just ate plants and stuff. But uh, what's really interesting about this one, as I switch down to the case to look at it, you can see that it's only the animal and the parts that dug out of the ground. So a lot of the vertebrae in the neck are missing. The top of the skull is missing there. You can see the, the small parts of under the rib cage are missing. And you see the hips are actually pretty well intact. It hasn't uh, flattened out quite as much as a lot of them. But one of the interesting things is about uh, these animals is they die and their body contorts. If you look down the hip here, you can actually see that the foot is upside down. It's facing up towards the face of the animal. You can see the, uh, the orientation. It should be like this if you look at my hand, direction of my hand, but it's actually reversed. It's the other way. Its foot is facing up towards its neck. The reason for that is if you look here at the leg bone, you got the two bones have twisted and overlapped. So when the animal died, yeah, you can follow this bone here, where's my finger there? That bone here, all the way down, you can see that it's overlapped the other bone here, the bone underneath. So you can see pretty well here in the Concebnathus lung pies just how the body gets completely disoriented and you get little pieces broken off. And this is actually a pretty well preserved little specimen. And this is apparently one of the smallest uh, dinosaurs that they found, a little theropod. You can see in this lambiosaur, which is a hadrosaur, one of the duckbill dinosaurs, just how distorted the skull has become just from the compression of the soil. You know, think how many tons of soil got over the animal over the years and compressed it into the rock that you see now. And of course you can see in this juvenile tyrannosaur how distorted the skull has become. A wonderful example of a full-size adult tyrannosaur where this side would have been laying down and this up here is all distorted just from the weight of the material that sat on top of it for a couple of million years or so. And of course, a cast. full grown. So just in case you're wondering, that is my favorite dinosaur. I know, it's not as sexy as the allosaur behind me, but uh, I know, always like the stegosaur. Something about the big spikes on the tail. So as per usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will have more cool stuff in the future.